Have you ever heard that spider webs are stronger than steel? Today I want to test out that saying. I found a spider web in my garden and I'm going to test if it actually is stronger than steel. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find a spider web in my backyard and I'm going to hang some special weights on it until it breaks. This will tell me the tensile strength of the spider web. Then I'm going to compare that to some 22 gauge steel wire and I'm going to hang the equivalent amount of weight on it such that the force per square area of the wire and the spider web will be the same. Okay, I found a good candidate right here. Let's see if you can see it. This has already been caught in the spider web. The B right there, you can see the spider web a little bit right there. You can see it reflecting in the light right there. See, that's the spider web we're gonna be testing. Yeah, and it comes all the way. All the way, all the way. Keeps coming until the spider web right there. So we're gonna test the tensile strength of that spider web. All right, in order to test how much the spider web can handle, I need some weights. And so I have here 40 pipe cleaners. And I have just a kitchen scale here. I'm gonna weigh how much these pipe cleaners weigh. Stick it on here. So we've got around 22 and a half grams in 40 pipe cleaners. Then I'm going to cut each pipe cleaner into fourths. And these are gonna be my smallest unit of weight. So I will make a little hook on these and hang these right on the spider web. So 40 pipes weighed 22 and a half grams at 0.56 grams per pipe. We cut it into four, so 0.14 grams is my smallest unit of spider weight. Okay, here are my weights. Here's my first one. One. Okay. You see it dangling there. Three. Four. Okay, here's number five. Five? Wow. That's pretty amazing. I did not know it would hold this many. Six. Seven. Eight. Wow, okay, I need to go make more. I did not know it would hold this many. Okay. Here's nine. Here's 10. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. Oh, 12. I think I could have got 13 on, but we'll say 12 for now. That's amazing. So doing a little research into spider's webs, I found the part of the web that I was using in my garden was the dragline silk portion of the web. So 
Here's a little diagram for you that I drew. I'm an awesome artist, if you can tell. Um, so, the portion that isn't used for catching stuff in the web, it's used for anchoring and the spider moving around, is called the dragline silk. And the dragline silk is around three to eight micrometers in diameter. So that's the thickness I'm gonna to use to determine the strength of our spider web. Using a diameter of five micrometers for our spider web, I calculate that our tensile strength is a whopping 428 megapascals, that's huge. Using that same tensile strength, if our steel wire is going to be just as strong, it will need to hold 28 kilograms. Also using that same formula, I can calculate that the steel wire equivalent of one of those pipe weights is about five pounds on the steel wire. Okay, so what I've set up here is some 22 gauge steel wire. This steel wire is around, has around 16,000 times the cross-sectional surface area of the spider web. So, according to my calculations, this should be able to hold around 16,000 times the weight, which is around 28 kilograms or around 62 pounds. So let's see how many pounds this steel spider web can hold and see if it's as strong as a real spider's web. Okay, so I'm gonna go in five pound increments. And I really don't want to get hit in the face by a broken wire. Two two and a half pound weights, so five pounds. Oh. <laughs> Thirty-five pounds. Didn't even come close, just barely over half of what the spider web could hold. Look at that. Snapped in two right there. Spider webs are stronger than steel. That's awesome. Spider webs are amazingly strong, much stronger than steel. So the next time you swat some spider webs out of your face, think twice because you're knocking down something that's stronger than steel. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.